What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Came across the recent picture of Michael Lockett and decided to start today's video with him. If we look at his Instagram, he has deleted all his posts from the times when he used to compete. What could be the reason for that? Michael is now retired and he has lost quite some size after making that decision. So, my guess is that he doesn't want his mind to play games with him, that he doesn't look the same anymore. For a guy who looked superhuman his entire life, it's quite a struggle to look like a normal human being. Obviously, it's all speculation. He still looks to be in a great shape. And whatever Michael does to keep him in a great mental state, we should all support it. For those of you who do not know, Michael qualified for the Olympia four years in a row, from 2016 to 2019. He won Chicago Pro three consecutive times, which is a unique record. Throughout his career, he was battling with the lack of balance between his upper and lower body. People always criticized him for the lack of leg development, without realizing that he had a surgery on his knee when he was really young and he couldn't train legs properly during his entire pro career. And still, he was able to beat guys like Sergio Oliva Jr., Justin Rodriguez, Charles Griffin, and some other names. Michael was famous for staying extremely lean year-round, and he still stays lean to this day. This guy didn't place high at the Olympia, obviously, because of his legs and gyno. But no one can deny that he had one of the craziest genetics in terms of upper body. Will Rolly Winkler ever compete again? He might because he never made a statement that he is retired from competitive bodybuilding. Will he be able to bring something similar to 2018? That's highly unlikely. The reason simply is his age. You guys can see that his upper body still looks pretty damn good. But what about his waist and his legs? If we look at Rolly's last Olympia appearance, he was holding tons of water. He didn't have the same freak factor that made him this famous. It's pretty common among bodybuilders to lose their quad sweep after turning 40 and Rolly is now 45. When the sweep is gone, the waist tends to appear wider. Two of the best versions we saw from Rolly were Arnold Classic Australia where he beat Bonac and Dexter and the Olympia 2018 where he placed his career's best third place. If we look at the top 5 at the Olympia over the last 2-3 to three years, who is the most consistent guy when it comes to conditioning? The unanimous answer is the Persian wolf Hadi Chopin. Like it or not, this makes Hadi the most dangerous guy out there. Because if we have to put money on a guy that will show us the meaning of condition, that is Hadi Chopin. Nick Walker was in a great shape last year, but he has a new coach now. And the Olympia will be their first show together. Hunter Labrada has to drop that last film of water to be truly competitive in terms of condition. Out of Brendan Carey, Rami and William Bonac, I think Hadi is the safest bet. Obviously, we are just talking about condition here. I don't think we have ever seen Hadi coming off. And if that's Hadi's 50% at 20 weeks out, 
He should be on everyone's radar. So the announcement has been made. Glad to hear that Muhammad Fada, Hani Rambard's athlete, is planning to compete soon in the pursuit of his Olympia qualification. He competed at Kuwait Pro last year and placed top 5 in that show. Considering that Kuwait Pro was his debut and he still cracked top 5 with a partial peg tier was amazing. He looked extremely competitive for his pro debut and he was told by the judges to get bigger. Curious to see what he brings to the stage as he had plenty of time for the offseason. Just over a week away from witnessing possibly the best version of Keon Pearson's step on the stage. He was able to win Chicago Pro last year despite not being the most conditioned guy on stage. The combination of a great shape plus decent condition was enough for him to pull a victory and get the Olympia qualification. It will be fun to see Carrot Bajo, the defending Tampa Pro champion, who is fired up to bring an even better package than last year, and Nathan Appler, the guy who placed fifth at the Olympia last year, battle it out with Keon Pearson. The 212 class is always underappreciated. Most of us can easily name the top five from open class. But when it comes to 212, most people do not know who was outside of the top 3. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.